Hi everybody, so this video lesson will be on phylogenetic analysis, how to draw um, a phylogenetic tree from Sanger sequencing data. Um, this video will be a quick version of the tutorial to show you, um, uh, for those of you who want to recap how to draw the tree uh, with people with basic knowledge on how to do so. So I won't be going to, into technical stuff, only going to um, explain to you um, quickly how to draw the tree. So your first step would be to open your your chromatograms in a Finch TV or another appropriate program. Okay, and then you have your chromatograms like this. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to zoom out of the sequence and then I'm going to trim the ends based on the um, based on the uh, uh, quality bars at the top, like that. So I trimmed the five and the three end residues. I'm going to select the entire sequence and I'm going to blast the sequence to identify the organism from the 16S data. So I blasted it by going to edit and mega blast. You get a page such as this one with your sequence into the um, appropriate uh, section and simply select blast at the bottom. Okay, then you will obtain results such as this. And you can see that the organism that this one, um, that isolate number seven is, um, is the Bacillus cereus. So I'm going to note that, I'm going to write that down um, for um, when I've done drawing the tree. So once I've done that, the next part would be to export your .abi sequence as a FASTA format. So I'm going to file, export DNA sequence FASTA. I'm going to save it in the appropriate folder. So then I can exit this, so you don't have to save if you don't want to. Alright, the next part would be to open Mega 7. Okay, go to Align, Edit Build Alignment, and Create New Alignment. DNA, and there we go. Um, go to this uh, folder icon on the right, upper hand right side. Okay, open your FASTA sequences. You should have trimmed the five and three prime residues of all your .abi chromatograms. So then you can obtain your FASTA sequences such as this and just open all of them at one time. And you get your sequences like that. Select all the sequences. Go to um, uh, Align Selected Block by Cluster W, Align DNA. Only change this, the DNA weight matrix to Cluster W 1.6 and press OK. And done with the alignment, now you have your sequences such as this, aligned perfectly. Um, now delete the five and the three end residues that have gaps in them, because we don't have one sequence, one sequence to have more DNA information than the other. Do the same for the five prime end, like that, delete that. Okay, so now we have all the sequences are the same length and they are aligned right ideally you would go through the whole thing one by one and check everything but we're not going to do that because this is a fast session now you're going to export your alignment in mega format on the desktop i'm going to save it as tree all right press ok yes exit this window simply open your tree by double clicking on it where you saved it um, open the tree, go to models, find best DNA protein models to select the best algorithm for drawing your tree. Um, don't change anything here, just press compute. Now it's going to calculate which algorithm is the best one for drawing your phylogenetic tree. Okay. So in this case, it's K2 plus G, and you look at the bottom, what that means. It's K2 is the, this model over here, and plus G means plus gamma distribution, um, as it says over here, right there. Okay, so now you know, so note that. Exit this, go to phonology, construct um, test neighbor joining tree, say yes, right? 
uh, put uh, your, your test phenology to bootstrap method and change it to at least a thousand, the more the better. Change your model to the um, Chimera 2 parameter or whichever one uh, your model test told you to use and remember to change um, whatever other parameters that also told you to change for, for this case the gamma distributed as well and then simply press compute right and there you have your tree like that okay so now you should have blasted all of these sequences so you should know what each of them are and then you're going to use paint or photoshop or some other uh, program that you can delete or you can use word as well delete the isolate um, uh, uh, names and fill in the the species so then we get something like this from here you can see that the um, the species group together and here the genus group together and another thing is the entire gram positives group together and the gram negatives grouped together now the distance between species are measured by the horizontal distances for example um, this species they're the same genus the Bacillus cereus and the Bacillus subtilis, but they have this plus this distance between them. Here is a key. This tells you uh, how many substitution nucleotide difference there are for this distance. And um, you can see there's a, a big distance between the gram positives and gram negatives. And here you can see there's a little distance between the other, these two Aromonas veroni species. So there's somewhere um, uh, a strain difference between them. Okay, and that's it. Um, any other questions, please feel free to come and contact me and I'll help you with anything you may need.